exposed. John McCain and Ukrainian sisters have a dirty little secret, linked to Trump coup. In one of the stranger twists of the anti-Trump forces trying to take out our president, we find two Ukrainian sisters at the epicenter of it all. Also, there's John McCain and his dirty little secret which he shares with the sisters. If you've ever wondered why McCain continues to froth at the mouth against President Donald Trump, we've just uncovered all of the skeletons in McCain's closet. This is going to blow your mind. Have you ever wondered why John McCain turns his back on President Trump every time some bogus claim comes up about the fake Russian conspiracy? McCain sounds like a flaming liberal Democrat, pumping every fake news account against Trump. John McCain is in the bag for Ukraine. He's owned by the Ukrainian government which is owned by George Soros and has been for some time. In fact, McCain is taking money from Soros, and in return, McCain is Soros' front man for Ukraine. The Daily Caller just found one of the money streams from Soros going to McCain, reporting McCain's institute has accepted contributions of as much as $100,000 from billionaire liberal activist funder George Soros and from Tanio, a for-profit consulting firm whose corruption CRC covered during the 2016 election. Soros funds color revolutions to gain influence in the countries where he creates term oil. In Ukraine, it was the Orange Revolution that he funded, which was successful. Soros is the behind-the-scenes puppet master pulling all the strings, as Zero Hedge reports in their article, Hacked Emails Expose George Soros as Ukraine Puppet Master. In another crazy twist, we have uncovered the Ukrainian Jalupa sisters, Alexandra and Andrea, in their dirty little secret. The biggest story of the 2016 campaign is about election interference, but it's not by the Russians but by the Ukrainians, with Soros and McCain backing the activities of the Chalupa sisters. Alexandra Chalupa is a Democratic National Committee DNC, operative, and she admits to having meetings with the Ukrainian officials in the Ukrainian embassy for the purposes of gaining dirt on Donald Trump or anyone close to his campaign. While the embassy declined that request, officials there became helpful in Chalupa's efforts, she said, explaining that she traded information and leads with them. If I asked the question, they would provide guidance, or if there was someone I needed to follow up with. But she stressed, there were no documents given, nothing like that. Chalupa said the embassy also worked directly with reporters researching Trump, Manafort and Russia to point them in the right directions. Source. Politico. Clearly, there is hardcore collusion going on here between a foreign government and the DNC. Chalupa's younger sister Andrea performed the role of frequenting Washington, D.C. parties and pumping the fake Trump-Russia collusion story everywhere to everyone, especially on social media. The Chalupa sisters and John McCain all have income streams coming in from George Soros. We know McCain is getting donations from Soros, and we also know that the Jalupa sisters are linked to George Soros' Open Society's foundation besides being Soros' secret Ukrainian weapons in his bid to take out Trump. Politico concluded the following after their extensive investigation. Ukrainian government officials trying to help Hillary Clinton and undermine Trump by publicly questioning his fitness for office. They also disseminated documents implicating a top Trump aide in corruption and suggested they were investigating the matter, only to back away after the election. And they helped Clinton's allies research damaging information on Trump and his advisers, a political investigation found. Source, Politico. The four people we have now exposed as being involved in that effort are George Soros, John McCain, Alexandra Chalupa and her sister Andrea. One other senator that we need to watch is Lindsey Graham, who mimics everything McCain says. Graham accompanied McCain to spend New Year's with the Ukrainian president that Soros put in power, and they were pictured having a really good time. We can't pick the facts that are staring us in the face, all we can do is go on and expose these sickos who are in bed with Soros. They must be stopped and thrown out of Washington, D.C., only then can we begin to stop the media insanity stop this investigation into Russia, and start an investigation into the Ukraine. Please share the story and tell us what you think by clicking one of the buttons below. We want to hear your voice. Thanks for watching.
Please subscribe Breaking News 365 channel. Goodbye and see you again.